comrades, Martin Kavana, PCS, to move this motion on social security, an absolutely critical motion at a time when our union movement really does need to stand up and take on the mantle of defending some of the most vulnerable in our society. We have seen decades now under different administrations, including under previous Labour administrations, decimating staffing, decimating the workforce, decimating the conditions of service, making it more and more difficult for those who have to claim benefits, whether it's disability benefits or in-work benefits, not only having the choice and the ability to claim that much needed financial support in the first place, but then being able to continue to receive that much needed support. We saw earlier this year an absolutely despicable announcement by the Secretary of State for the Department for Work and Pensions that they were agreeing to what they call a job centre innovation pilot, where they were genuinely trying to incentivise, incentivise our members to make it more difficult for people to claim and keep the benefits that they desperately need. Well, Congress, our union has always been at the forefront of demanding a better, fully resourced social security system. It's always been at the forefront of demanding that those who absolutely need our support, absolutely need our, the ability to be able to make ends meet at the time of poverty, at the time of disability or sickness, get that support at day one. It should never be a punitive system like it is now. It shouldn't be one that is there to try and make it more difficult for people to get help. It should be absolutely from day one a system that is there to support, that is there to help and generate a genuine understanding of what people go through at the time of most need. And comrades, our members, when we organise, when we mobilise, have been at the forefront of fight back on a despicable conditionality and sanctions regime. And I want to applaud the work that we've done with our brothers and sisters in the Unite community not only in terms of conferences on social security, but absolutely being at the forefront of advising claimants and claimant groups about how they can get round some of the worst aspects of the modern social security system. But comrades, let's be clear about this. It's not just the Tories that need to wake up and, and smell the coffee on this. Every single politician who sees anyone who claims benefits as a scrounger, as somebody who is obliged on the state, quite frankly, needs to sod off. Because these people aren't scroungers. These people aren't scroungers. And if you needed any more advice or any more uh, notice of that, see what happens during a pandemic, when virtually overnight, two and a half million people were plunged into absolute desperation. They needed the support of the Department for Work and Pensions. They needed the support of our members. And they absolutely were grateful for us bending over backwards and many of our members putting their own lives and their families' lives at risk to provide that much needed support. Extra records of benefit paid, two and a half million new claims for universal credit processed and a social security system that we demanded remove conditionality and sanctions and for six months we achieved that for the first time in the last 20 years, comrades. Our members were allowed. Our members were allowed to provide that help and support to those at the most difficult time. But that should not be something just for a pandemic. That should be something that we aspire to day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out. Those who need Social Security and the provision of Social Security should be able to get it in the same way that everyone should be able to access free healthcare, free education at day one at the point of need. So comrades, I will finish with this. If we as a movement can't understand that those members of ours who have to claim benefits because their salaries are so low are in exactly the same boat as those who have to claim benefits permanently because they can't find work or are too sick or disabled to be in work. If we as a movement don't grasp that concept, then we are failing, we are letting those people down and we are letting future generations down a proper, fully funded social security system that stays within the public sector and stays within the civil service, that is absolutely based on providing help, support and confidence at the point of need from day one right the way through that journey is something that we all need to demand and will continue to demand. <laughs> our union comrades will be at the forefront of it as our members who have to deliver it. But I urge every single union, every single trade unionist, not just in this room, but back in the workplaces, 
to get behind that campaign, to get behind PCS and our members, to try not to allow others to scapegoat our members, to say that they are the problem. They are not the problem. The Tories are the problem. Any right-wing politician who sees that those who claim benefits as a blight are the problem. They're the ones who should step aside and move on. We will provide a system. We as a movement demand it. We will get there. Cheers, comrades.